I am not going to cheese monsters. I am a veteran hunter. I do not use mantles and I can even iframe everything. Fight, fight. But listen, I want to see jewels. Breathe. God, help me. Help me, Rod. Help me. Help you. Help me help you. Help me help you. <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to another Cheese Bowgun video. I'll present to you shield sticky HBG builds that you can start making once you take down Shara Ishvalda. All these builds will have health boost, slugger, earplugs, guard 5, and guard up. Let's see the builds. The first build is a true spare shot setup with Shara Ishvalda's HPG. It's not going to have artillery 5 just yet. It's a good set to play with still once you're new in Guiding Lands. You won't deal that much damage, but you will be safe. Carry a Farcaster and be prepared to restock every now and then. We are using 4 shield mods for this HPG to control the knockback we get from getting hit but in turn it gives us a difficult time making use of the status ammos of the gun. So I advise building up the status when the monster is knocked down or when the aggro is not on you. Now the next version of this would be a set centered on Zora's armor. The cheap version would allow you to put two more levels of artillery so that's 20% more damage with the expense of downgrading your spare shot from true spare shot. You might be asking why I'm not running free element 3 here. Simple, you have earplugs, so which means your auto reload stickies would only be interrupted if you get too careless and too aggressive with your gunning. Bear in mind that there is a slight delay when the shield will be usable when you're doing auto reload. Now the expensive build will just give you 4 levels of attack which is okay. The main thing here to boost your damage is always eating for a feline bombardier, attack up large and having those demon seed, mega demon drug and demon powder. In Iceborne, you can melt all those stuff, so yeah, it's easier to get them. Now, when you PC players get Rajang, that's going to be your new Shield Sticky HPG. Here's a cheap and expensive build that you can try once Rajang arrives. If you will go solo, your Palico is your best friend. The best Palico gadget to complement a Shield Sticky HPG build is the Shield Spire Palico. Doesn't matter where you hit the monster if you have stickies. Hit zones don't mean a thing. So when the monster just goes for your palico, just go hard on him and sticky, sticky, sticky. So that's it guys. Please remember to eat for feline bombardier. It gives you additional 10 to 15% damage. If I'm not mistaken, and that can mean a lot. Carry the attack items and also the drugs to boost your attack. Keep a farcaster too just in case RNGs hates you. I would leave the mantles up to you. You can play around with them. Like for example, against Lunastra, I wear a fire mantle and an impact mantle just in case she does a Nova. And also remember that you have to bring sticky 1s and sticky 3s, gunpowder level 3 and blast nuts. I usually set my crafting to craft one by one because if ever you do craft all and your stickies are at an even number, you might waste some ammo. So I just do one by one just to be safe. And if ever you want a sticky slash cluster type with Zora, HBG and Rajang, check a video I made way back. None of it changed since Safi weapons didn't give birth to a new cluster gun and Safi armor doesn't really go well with stickies. And also, if you want to see gameplay on how I play Shield Sticky HBG, I did a few solo runs and some sticky abuse group runs way back. Everything will be in the description below. All the links will be there. Thank you for watching the video. I hope this helps you out. If it did, you know what to do. Please leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't. Feel free to hang out in one of the open lobbies on Twitch too. And if you want fast notifications regarding new videos and live streams, join the Gunsexual Discord. Everyone's chill there. Don't worry. See you on the next video, guys.